Hey guys, I'm Marie Abdurabulis and you're watching Hollywire. How are you? I'm hanging in there. Um, I think I've become a domestic master. Uh, I travel a lot, meaning the kitchen, the laundry room, you know, steady. We're gonna play a game. This, is, uh, this is the spinny wheel, okay? It looks like a kid did it, not gonna lie. Sorry, I, I left my hand running. Okay, <laughs> here we go, here we go. Spin the wheel. Yeah. Who's your man crush? Really? Yep, yep. Ooh, who is my man? I mean, back in the day, it used to be George St. Pierre. Uh, he's a UFC fighter. Um, but if I had to choose an actor, I mean, Brad Pitt's just handsome. Okay, here we go, spin the wheel. <laughs> you're, you're like, I want her to answer. Netflix Netflix, or Netflix and chill or just a night out? Aren't we all dreaming of a night out? But, you know, reality is we're all Netflix and chilling, watching The 100, hopefully. Everybody that's been like inside, that has been inside for their prior to this, they're, they're totally used to this. Like all the Netflix and chill people, this is normal. Shit. Yeah, not normal for me. I like to interact with others a lot. Okay, last one, here we go. Last text message you sent? Um, I think to my publicist to arrange this call because I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> uh, have you TikTok before? Let, let's get into that. What, have you TikTok before? No, but I've uh, been watching a lot of them. Um, my favorite one being um, the uh, mother having breakfast with a robe on and her kid's like, da -da, da -da, da -da, I have mommy, uh, my, and she's just Slowly starts to lose her mind and then just pours wine in her cereal instead of milk. Have you seen that one? No, but the way you performed it, I feel like you could be really good at TikTok though. Cause I just saw you do some acting right there. I feel like you could like turn it on. Yeah, before, before COVID-19, I was an actress once, maybe twice. <laughs> so you're, you're, from, you're from Canada? Yep, I'm in Canada right now. Um, the, uh, I guess everyone has like a, post-COVID story of uh, when the lockdown happened. Um, we were literally shooting the 100th episode of The 100, and then the world went in a worldwide shutdown the very next day. So we got no rap party, we didn't get to say goodbye, uh, and it was very kind of anticlimactic. Um, Are you, did you grow up doing outdoorsy type of stuff, or what's, what, from yeah. where you from? Yeah, uh, I was a late bloomer into uh, into the acting business. Um, I started acting when I was 21 years old. Um, I did school plays as a kid a lot, um, just because, uh, to make a long story short, I was bullied. I went through this really weird, like, gothic stage. Have you, have you ever been in a fist fight when you were younger in, in, in grade school? No, like, it was more like they'd throw cheeseburgers at my head and stuff, like, walking through the cafeteria. <laughs> They were throwing cheeseburgers. You could you could beat somebody up because I was I was looking at your Instagram and you are uh, martial arts. I mean, you got that down. It's something to do, yeah. And um, playing a warrior on the hundred for so long has also um, helped me do that. We had an amazing stunt team that taught me, um, you know, how to sword fight on horseback. Uh, a very useless skill for my current life, but uh, I can do it. Your character is a sword swinger. You swing your swing a lot of swords. Octavia, yes. The fans are gonna get mad at you if you didn't know that. Yes. You do a lot of extreme type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I started uh, snow competing in big air competitions um, when I was a teenager. I still have two Harley Davidson motorcycles. Have you ever broken a bone before? Yeah, what? I've broken both my ankles. Um, I broke an ankle while filming a parkour movie in New York City once called Tracers. You kept filming while you had the broken ankle? The show must go on. There was ways around it. Where, where's like a really great place to go snow, snowboarding in Canada? Whistler, British Columbia. I have a place up in Whistler. Um, it was current, the mountain's currently closed right now due to COVID-19. Um, but that would be my my um, my happy place to go to on the weekends and, and uh, shred the mountain. Have you been on the series the entire time since the beginning? Yes. That's that's crazy. That's such a long, to build that family. Cause you guys obviously, I mean, are such a strong family cause you've known each other for so long. Absolutely, which made it even um, more challenging, I suppose, to say goodbye uh, once we wrapped filming because we couldn't hug each other or have a wrap party or kind of give each other the proper send off. It was just kind of like, that's a wrap. And then we had to go. I was like, that's it? 
I've been on the show since I was like 24, that's it. And uh, are you a fan of Comic-Con from scale to one to 10? Cause that actually should be happening very soon too. Yeah, I don't think that's happening anymore. Um, I was at Comic-Con last year for um, my first ever um, voiceover job, Wonder Woman. Um, where I was opposite Rosario Dawson playing um, Silver Swan, and that was great. Can't well, when this is over, come join us in the studio. You're awesome. Sounds good. As soon as those borders open up, I'll be back in LA. Bye.